we have some pretty heavy things to talk about today. <coughs> so before we start, I'm just going to say, uh, for what is in the title of this video, just trigger warning for that. Uh, it's going to get a little heavy. So if you need to click off at any time, that's fine. But I'm, I'm here to say this. Recently, uh, Donald John Trump, uh, former president of the United States was found liable in a uh, um, is was found liable for sexually abusing and defaming E. Jean Carroll in a civil uh, trial and was ordered to pay five million dollars to her. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be 100 percent honest. I'm going to have to tread lightly with the way that I speak here because this is a civil trial. So. First of all, Trump was not found guilty in a criminal rape trial. He was found liable in a civil trial regarding a rape. Meaning, um, he was found liable on Tuesday for sexually abusing writer E. Jean Carroll in a Manhattan department store in the 1990s, but not liable for her alleged rape. So, basically, he was... He is forced to pay her $5 million in damage for battery and defamation claims. So, he is not found guilty for rape in a criminal sense. I'm just putting that out there now. But I do want to talk about what this means, okay? So, Donald Trump is a piece of shit. I don't think I, I have to say that. If you're watching my channel, you think that he's a piece of shit. And um, he has many, many sexual abuse claims um, held against him currently. Uh, there have been many claims about him that especially surfaced uh, around the Me Too era uh, and around 2016. And E. Jean Carroll, I believe, is the first woman who has been victimized by him uh, to to actually gain some sort of recompense for it and I'm glad that she's able to gain this recompense and I'm glad that she's able to hopefully put this behind her even though Trump is of course trying to appeal this verdict um, but I, I do want to talk about what this means it is a infinitely good thing that this man is being held liable for things of this nature and it is also extremely sad that he was not found liable until now so i did listen to carol's story she never filed officially with the police because she was afraid that her case just never would have came to light or that she was going to get buried and shit on in the media because at the time in the 80s Trump was extreme well in the 90s this happened apparently um Trump was extremely popular in media um like extremely popular so she never officially filed criminal charges but to see that she is able to sue him for defaming her because basically what had happened is that he was repeatedly like i don't know about woman she's a liar she's a liar i don't know about woman she's a liar and he kept saying that in office and it was like okay he's fine while he's in office because like presidential immunity or some shit but then he kept saying it when he was out of office and then she sued him and she won the lawsuit and um trump has had to well he's been found liable in the battery of this case as well according to this nbc article and i mean while i cannot legally say that trump is a rapist i can say that former president donald john trump has been found liable um in regards to battery in a civil rape case so take with that what you will um, so when it gets down to it, this situation is one that is, again, sad, disgusting. I am so sad and very, again, very disgusted that this woman had to wait for so long to get recompense for this. Um, 
But at the same time, I'm glad that it happened. So let's talk about what this means moving forward. More than likely, there will be more cases coming out against Trump of this nature. More civil cases, maybe not more criminal cases because criminal rape cases are extremely hard to prosecute. And unless like it just happened, they unfortunately rarely get to court. Um, it just because it they get buried very easily in the legal system. I believe like in the state of New York alone, a bunch of rape kits um, just don't get processed and they end up expiring, which is fucking horrible. Um, and although a lot of these women can't get him on criminal charges, the fact that there is a woman who was able to get him on a civil charge is a very good thing, and I hope that this trend continues. Um, because he needs to be held accountable for this shit. Even if it isn't criminally accountable, um, him getting hit in the bank account for things that he has done in the past, according to these women, if he's found liable in these cases, it is very important for him to have to pay these damages. Very important for him to have to pay these damages. And him being found liable in the battery aspect of this case is also very important because it does show that he can still be held accountable in some way for what he did, even if it isn't going to jail. For because of course he wasn't um he wasn't found criminally criminally um uh, liable in this. So he is appealing it. Considering the court already found him guilty on this, he might be appealing it to a higher court. I don't know how much that will go well for him um but we'll have to wait and see for that and of course i i do believe he has gone back yeah he's already one of his campaign spokespeople says make no mistake this entire bogus case is a political endeavor targeting president trump because he is now an overwhelming front runner to once again be elected president of the united states this case started like a couple of years ago so yeah and as val raven says um yeah i've i've seen things about there being untested rape kits dated like years back just piling up and that does speak to like a wider issue of the way that the united states treats rape the united states and many countries for that matter don't treat rape as seriously as they should like rape pretty much everyone agrees rape is the most horrible crime that you can commit some people say it's murder in my personal opinion it's rape yeah because like this is the way that i contextualize crimes I do it both in context and also in a vacuum. Like, can you justify this? And also, is it justifiable in this case? So for something like theft, I can justify theft in some cases. Like, if you're stealing something so that you can feed your baby or something. Um, and then, like, of course, you have some cases where it isn't justifiable. Like, hey, I robbed the bank because I wanted money. You know? Same thing with murder. I think you can justify killing someone. Like, hey, this person posed an active threat to me or my loved ones, or like, even if they didn't pose an active threat at the moment, they had been threatening before, and so I killed them to prevent that fervor. I think you can justify it in that case. And then, of course, there are some murders that are not justifiable. Like, hey, I just wanted to kill this person to kill this person. I do not think, and this is, I, I don't think that there is any realistic way where sexual assault or rape can be justified i don't think there isn't a block over here where you can justify this i think it is a purely selfish crime it isn't something that you can justify it isn't something that you can that you can like say oh like well in this case maybe like no there is no edge case where it's justifiable no realistic edge case where it's justifiable like with murder I do think there are cases where killing someone can be justifiable or at least understandable and where I can be sympathetic to someone. There is no case like that when it comes to something like sexual assault or rape at all. 
nothing, not a no, not at all. Which is why I personally view rape as the worst crime that someone can commit. Um, and when, when it gets down to it, this, this right here is a really unfortunate way that the United States treats rape because the United States regards rape in a manner that benefits oftentimes men. Nine times out of 10, when it comes to like rape cases going, um, unreported, it's because a lot of people don't take women's claims seriously. So a lot of rape cases don't get litigated or they don't get taken far enough. And the way that our legal system is set up, it is set up in a way that makes it extremely hard to get rape cases processed, especially when it comes to police departments. Like, let me put it like this. If it's a situation, which I've heard of stories like this, if there's ever a situation where someone is raped by a police officer, nine times out of ten, that police officer isn't going to be prosecuted. It's the same thing in the military. The military has a really bad rape issue. Like, an extremely bad rape issue. And nine times out of ten, that shit is never, never, ever prosecuted. Because of the bro culture of these fucking areas that don't want to um, prosecute these cases. The United States is a rape culture. It is a culture that protects rapists. It is a place where if a rapist is in a position of power, nine times out of ten, they aren't going to be dealt with unless some shit really goes against their favor. Again, like, even when it comes to Me Too, think of who actually got prosecuted in Me Too. It was Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby, and Bill Cosby got out. Bill Cosby is out of prison right now, and he's walking around. Um, so really, it's only really Harvey Weinstein who ever saw any lasting effects of it that's still continuing today. The United States is a rape culture, and I think it is important to fight against that so that we can protect people, and I think it's important to fight against that so that people who are unfortunately predated upon can see some sort of, um, I guess, some sort of, honestly, like, something happening to the person who did this to them, or so that they can get compensated for their horrific experiences. In many U.S. states, people being arrested can consent to sex with police. How on earth is that not rape? It is rape. It is absolutely rape, because there's a horrible power imbalance there. Yeah? When it comes down to it, yeah, Jimmy Seville in the UK also got away with it. A lot of the West is a rape culture. Roman Polanski fucking fled to France. Um, a big Hollywood director fled to France, and he is a rapist. Yeah? It is disgusting how many people can get away with this. And I think someone as powerful as Trump, who was a US president, being found liable in a civil rape case, even though it isn't a criminal rape case, but someone like Trump being found liable in a civil rape case is a move in the right direction, is absolutely a move in the right direction. And it is a situation where I do have to say, like, it's one of those where I want to see more people being found liable in cases like this, and also I kind of want to see less of that. But, like, not less of that in I want people to shut the fuck up about it, but less of that in I want less bad shit to be happening, if y'all understand what I mean. I want to see more people being held accountable, and I want to see less instances of people having to be held accountable for doing this shit, because I want to see less people doing this shit. Um, when it comes down to it, though, whatever happens moving next, I'm interested to see it. Uh, I'm also interested to see what happens to this appeal and i'm also interested to see um if other cases of this nature start getting brought up and addressed and dealt with i really want to know what's going to happen with that and uh best of luck to miss carol or mrs carol um and i i hope her life is um somewhat improved after this verdict in this case with that being said, uh, be sure to share your thoughts down below of what you think of this. Uh, I love you all. Thank you for watching this video. 
Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.